Uh, here's a beat right now for QR National. This is surprising considering the events, the weather systems that we saw unfolding in Queensland earlier this year with, uh, of course, the flooding and the cyclones. But how did you manage these numbers despite the, uh, the damage? Uh, Susan, good to be with you. I think it reflects the underlying strength of our company and the benefit of privatisation. Uh, we are announcing an EBIT uh, which is up 35% year on year, notwithstanding, as you say, the impact of the flooding which saw our volumes being 37 million tonnes less than in our offer document. That was an impact of $187 million uh, during the, the year, albeit, Susan, some $65 million of that will be recovered coverable in this financial year and next. To your question, the good news is that the traction around what we call our transformation, the renewal of contracts in the business, our labour productivity redundancies, all of these kinds of things added up to a benefit of some $94 million during the course of the, uh, of the year. In addition to that, we continue to invest in the future. All of our key capital projects are on time and on budget. We spent $1.4 billion on, uh, on those projects during the, uh, the year. Okay. We're delivering an additional 44 million tonnes of capacity in our hey, system. Hey, Lance, you know, these sound like really impressive numbers that uh, you're telling us right now. So why do you remain cautious in the short term? That's what you said on the analyst call. Because on the one hand, we have uh, continuing softness as a result of that flooding. There are still so many pits in Queensland that are full of water, and we are about 18% year-on-year behind in terms of our tonnage throughput in Queensland. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, we're seeing the benefit of the ramp-up in our New South Wales operations and in our Western Australian operations. We're so, simply Lance, saying... how do you feel then about BHP building their own rail system out of Queensland? Isn't that going to affect uh, coal transport, at least more competition for you? I don't believe so. I, I, what I believe is competition is good. What I believe is that this is a, a, a one of a number of options that BHP is looking at. We're delighted to help them with that. There is huge growth when you think that there is 5-6% compound growth year on year in, in this market. It does make sense for an operator like BHP to look at a dedicated pipeline. Our expertise is in open access multi-user railroads. As I say, as we speak speak today, we're in the process of delivering an additional 44 million tonnes. We're in advanced stages of looking at further upgrades of our system over the next uh, number of years.